For this week's Through My Eyes, we take you back to the I-500 and into the pits of the 32 team of Pichet Racing. Chief photojournalist Corey Adkins gives you a breathtaking look at what it's like to be a driver in the fastest snowmobile race on the planet. You got butterflies in your stomach a little bit. Once the flag actually drops, though, it, everything goes away. You just, you just concentrate on racing. The best thing you could have going for you is you got a sled with a lot of horsepower, which we do. Flaggy built a great motor for us, and Dwayne Pichet, he did great also building a sled. You're probably not going to have to do skis after 50 laps, I would think. But it's way harder than it looks from up on the hill. <laughs> and when I come in, I'll let you know if I want any more front ends. Just enjoy it. Take it in. It's something, that's for sure. there and see what we can do and see if we can turn this into a win. Good luck, Bob. Good luck. Streak today and bring this trophy home to the Sioux. I know it. When you're all grouped up and you're going into that flag stand and you see the guy shaking that green flag right there, you uh yeah, it's pretty intense. Then as soon as they drop the green, that little shot of adrenaline you had, that goes away and it's kind of like you just headed to work. You don't really realize how fast you're going when you go into the corner. sounds crazy, but once you get used to it, it, it doesn't even seem that fast anymore. But yeah, it is the fastest snowmobile race in the world. I guess when you come into the corners, you do realize you're going over 100 at the time. The snow dust will drain you too, you know, you're trying to cut, you know, when it's hard to see, it's mentally challenging. Very tough to see, very tough to know where to let off, and you're just hoping that someone isn't broke down in front of you because you won't, you know, you can't see it. Kind of driving blind a lot. You just gotta stay focused and try not to mess up, and uh, if you're doing good, you keep doing what you're doing. Now the I-500 was called that day at 282 laps due to weather. However, the 32 team of Pichet Racing took a very impressive fifth. The Christian Brothers 15 sled won the race.